hard work. You might just struggle with some of the uh, conditions. Finally paid off. Nice little common. This one's on the uh, bar rig, choddy rig. And the bait was the tour baits plum capriotic acid. It's been out there for quite a while. I have been thinking of changing it this morning, but it's come good in the end. Hook bottom lip again, rig done its job. Uh, it's cold, the fish is very cold. My hands are very cold, but yeah, well. So the tour bait's doing well, the rig's producing well. And now we're gonna get it back. Get a bit closer you know, uh, while my hands don't drop off. Oh, it's like <laughs> minus 10 this morning, it's proper cold. <laughs> Goes. Sunday morning, 3rd of February 2013, Crusader review. Cold, really cold last night. Cut the fish, lost one at um, 4 o'clock this morning, but I did have a have a fish at 2 as well. I've had two bream and one carp now. Uh, not a massive carp, self picks taken, not the best either. But, like I say, 20 past 10, and someone who's been here a little while now, say hello. Hiding round the corner Yo. <laughs> is Yoda. Mr. 33 is here. And we're just looking over a few bits, just changing a few bits. I'm um, just about, I've had the bow rigs on all day, all night. And we've had a couple of fish on, on well, one on the choddy. And two on the, uh, the bottom, bottom one. So I'm going to take one off now. And I'm going to go back to my old style rigs, normal rigs, not this knot. I'm going to do uh, a bottom bait with, I think, the Tor Baits Crab Halo pop-up. Now I've tested one of them in the water and they do leak really well and look really quite, quite good. So, Tor Baits Halo Crab. I think you can see what's going on there. Just about. Try to get away from the reflection, but you can see the liquid just oozing off. They're good, they're pretty damn good. Just gonna sort one of them out, whack one of the uh, castaway PVA sticks or bags that I've made up, and uh, I'm gonna swap them over now. Yoda is just making up a rig, he's gonna uh, try out one of the uh, Tor Baits pineapple pop ups. messing with all that now but before I do that before we cast this rod back out again and I'm putting on another rig I just want to show you hook sharpening most important part of your rig blunt hooks not going to catch nothing now this hook this rig I've got here uh, was uh, an old one say an old one but one that was on the rods that first went in yesterday uh, so I'm reverting back to this rig just a normal blowback style but I'm just gonna give this hook a little sharpening quick now there is a video that goes with this and as I've already said budgie I'm afraid I ain't watched it because I ain't had time and you know 
So there's a little groove in there. I like to run the edge of the book in there. Just slides up and down nice just to keep that curve on it as well. And you can already see, I mean, you're not going to be able to see it too well on there, but it's already sort of the, the, the paint or the, uh, what's, what's that? that Teflon, isn't it? The, the coating is already sort of coming off. And you can see you can see it getting sharper as I do it. I mean, you're not going to be able to see it because I ain't got it on macro mode on the camera. But, so yeah, and that is solid now. I ain't going now. Ah. Yeah, so that's sharp enough now. And that was only a few little scrapes. Um, it wasn't the bluntest look to be fair, it, it weren't too bad, but it is now absolutely pin sharp. And it's a lovely little tool this, so for the money, you need to have one of these, they pack away nice. That is something that I will always have in my box, at all times. So yeah, and yeah, see, just caught myself on it and blinking bleeding. Right. So yeah, it's going to be, I'm going to go to, uh, I'm going to put the Galaxy Baits on this one, bottom bait. Uh, I've caught on on them, and we've caught on the JWs as well. But I'm going to put the Galaxy bottom bait on with the Tor Baits crab pop up on top, the Halo one. I'm going to see how we go with that. Like I say, a little castaway stick, PVA stick, or, or the bag, it'll probably be the stick actually, I'll just hook that on. In fact, I'll use it and pull it all the way through my pull my rig through it like I normally do. So we're going to do that and hopefully have some more fish. And Yoda might have a fish, which would be nice. Say so, yes, Yoda. Hopefully. <laughs> And we've got a little uh, stick made up. I was going to say Andy, Andy's been making up a rig, but we're just going to test out the Castaway PVA, one of the little sticks that I made. Andy's got there. Yeah. Like, like me and Andy said, it's quite, it feels like cotton, doesn't it? It feels mm. really fluffy, and and to me, it gives me the impression that in the summer it would it would just break down really, really quick. It's but of course, it's absolutely freezing here, and that water is minus God knows what. Breaking down nice and even. There we go, it's got there in the end. Done. Oh, in that long? What's it say in the video? Yeah, three minutes. Oh, Alright, it's two o'clock Sunday still. <laughs> and it's been dead quiet, no movement, no fish moving. We've tried a couple of different bits, tried moving the baits about. Uh, we've tried the tour bait pop-ups on their own. Um, we've tried. I've gone back to my normal rigs, taking the boa rigs off, and we're trying normal snowman sort of style. So I've got uh, the JW baits on with a uh, uh, tour baits pop-up, one of the little ones, the little pineapple ones. And I've also on the other rod, I've got the Galaxy baits with another tour baits pop-up with the uh, that's with the Halo crab. Yoda's changing his over, he's going to chuck a choddy out, speaking of the net. Hello! Yo. So, more little movements going on, changing a few bits over, only about another hour left. And we're going to pack up. It's not been the greatest of uh, sessions really, it's hard work, it's really cold. And the fish are just not well, yeah, A few little uh, bits I want to talk about. The Castaways PVA is really good stuff, it feels really fluffy, I've done a little test there to see how quick it uh, reacts as well in the, in the ice cold water. About a three minute breakdown but it got there and it, I can imagine in the warmer water it's going to be a lot better. But, um, so yeah it was good. The, uh, the hook sharpener quality, won't go anywhere without it now, I always use it. The baits, they've all yeah, been good. All kinds of stuff going on. We've tried all different kinds of uh, tactics, different rigs, different setups. And now we're going for the last hour chucks, which are going to be, I think, a couple of long ones. Uh, the naked choddy for for Yoda. And I'm going to stick to my two bottom baits with snowmans. I'm going to put another stick and uh, bag on them. I'm going to fling them over the back. As for the, uh, the boa rigs, pretty good rigs. They've nailed everything bottom lip every time. Um, slight worry I have with them is where they are kind of uh, sort of 
kinked up, shall we say, when that's on the bottom, when we've tested them uh, around the water's edge or, or in the little water tank here, it, they sit a little bit popped up sometimes off the bottom. Now, because of what it's made of, I don't think it's too much of a problem because it looks like a twig or whatever. Um, but for me and for some others, I can see that maybe they won't like that too much, the way it sits. But otherwise, nailing fish quality. If you're fishing somewhere where they get rid of the lead, uh, they shake their heads really quickly to get rid of the bait, shall I say. That's, that'll be one that'll counteract it, definitely. Like the, the spring in it is, is, is good. But um, like I say, it's going to be, some people are going to like that, some people are not going to like it. Uh, for me, I always make my own rigs anyway, and maybe just not for me, just the way it sits. It's landed fish, it's caught fish, uh, bream and carp, but it's, you know, I don't know, I've got them and I'll, I'll possibly use them again at a place where I know the fish are very cute, like, uh, and they get rid of the bait really quick, so, but yeah, otherwise pretty good. The PVA, again, the one thing I would say is I'd like a little marker on there, just to maybe so you know how much stick you're making, so they're all level, OCD style, you know, it is for me, it bothers me. But otherwise, it's all been really good stuff. There's so much quality stuff out there for all of us now to use. So it is a, it's a minefield of what to pick. But all I can say is the Galaxy baits uh, smell lovely, and they they've, they've caught a few fish on them today. Same with the JW baits, again good quality. So you can't really go too far wrong. It, it's really down to preference what you prefer the smell of, and, and, and obviously some people like to break them over and see what's in them. So that would be down to personal preference, I suppose. In the little water tank, and he's testing out his little choddy there. Make sure he's sitting right. It's always a good thing to do. The amount of times that I've not checked the rig and flung one out, and you realise when you do start checking them before you cast them out or chuck them out, that sometimes they don't quite sit how you expect them to. So be it a bottom bait, a snowman, a pop-up, choddy whatever it be just get yourself a little bowl of water or something and just try them out a little bit of work a little bit of effort but definitely worth it so last hour start packing up sorting bits out and uh, hopefully we'll get another fish um, so it's been two carp two bream that's the total so far. I think I might have said one carp earlier uh, two carp about the same seven eight pounds uh, and yeah, hopefully there's going to be a few more.